Yeah, so rationalize the numerator. The reason why we need the conjugate here is because we've got a binomial, all right? So if we can make this or multiply it by the conjugate, then it gives us the difference of squares, and that's what's so important about this is the difference of squares is what rationalizes that. All right, so this is what we got. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and multiply the numerator by its conjugate, which would be the square root of x minus the square root of y. But we'll need to multiply it in the denominator as well. And the interesting thing about this is that it kind of squares the denominator. So if you remember the rule about uh, squaring the square of, the, of a sum like this, you, you could write that rule out. I don't expect you guys to remember that stuff, so I'm not going to use it. Same with the uh, numerator, with the difference of square stuff. So let's look at this. In the numerator, I got the square root of x times the square root of x, which is x. And then I'm going to subtract the square root of x times y. And then I'm going to distribute this square root of y, so that's a positive square root of xy, because I'm just rearranging the letters there. And then I've got minus the square root of y times the square root of y is y. Once again, these middle values are going to cancel out, so they go away anyways. Let's keep it there. In the denominator, I've got the square root of x times the square root of x, which is x. And I've got minus the square root of x times y. Then I've got minus the square root of x times y again. And then I've got minus a negative, so it's going to be a plus. The square root of y times the square root of y is y. And so, in the numerator, once again, these two are going to add to 0, so I've got an x minus y. And in the denominator, I've got x. That's a minus one root xy and then a minus another one root xy, which gives us a negative two square roots of xy, and then plus the other y. That right there is as far as we can take this one. 